Still called him in. Sweet. Here is this layer out here is the conjunctiva of the moose. So the conjunctiva goes around the sclera like this. It has some pigment on it on a cow and a moose. Not much pigment on a Caucasian human eye. There's some big pieces of retroorbital fat here. And we'll try and clear out. This will have retroorbital fat plus some vessels. There's another vessel in there. What we're basically trying to do is we dissect this way, just to separate. fat like this. See them in place this way. Corny in the front, like this. Conjunctiva over sclera. Rectus muscles. And here's the optic nerve right there. Our goal is to cut the eye in half so we can look at the structures on the inside. There's the cornea. There's the sclera. There are the rectus muscles. Here's the optic nerve. And we're going to go straight all the way through the eye, starting here in the back along the sclera. What I want you to do is to start your cut partial thickness eyeball. So we've got a slit along the back of the eyeball there. We're heading from the very back, right next to the optic nerve, in between the extraocular muscles, and cutting through the back of the eye. After we actually cut through, as you can see there, of the back of the eye. We want to be careful not to press the eye very hard at this point we want to maintain the structures inside the eye. So carefully cut like this around the side, almost up, almost up to the cornea in the front. So on the inside of the eye, you can see in the back as we open it up, the lens on the inside right now is separating from its zonular fibers and can be lifted from its attachments to the zonules around like this. That lens is what the moose used to focus we're going to set the lens down like this. We'll take a little look at that lens. We can see how it magnifies the objects below it. We're looking from the inside of the eye through the pupil right here. We can actually put something blunt underneath through the pupil into the anterior chamber and here we're touching the back of the cornea but there's actually a space here so there is a space between the cornea and the iris and you can see a thin little layer there that is the iris 
Now we can see in this situation, magnified, here's the pupil. And underneath the pupil, we can put this underneath that right there. And we can see the iris. This is the back of the cornea. And here's the retina right here. This being the optic nerve. And right in here, we can see where the optic nerve is coming into the back of the eye with little blood vessels spreading into the retina. The retina is right here at the edge of the eye. At the back of the retina, the retina is a layer. The back of the retina is the choroid. And so on the inside of the sclera here, we can lift up the retina like this. The back of the retina has the choroid. Just like that. So we're lifting up the retina with something blunt essentially causing a retinal detachment. Once again, the lens, extraocular muscle, sclera, vitreous, retina, this side has the optic nerve, still has the retinal nerve, vitreous,